but do you but do you get adjusted somehow to life on the road and playing all the time yeah well i mean it's when you're on the road for two months all you do is sit around like after a while you get a bit tired and you get like you can't sleep it off it just you're always a bit uh I mean, the shows are great, that's why you do it, but all the traveling and all the being away from home, and all you can think about is getting home and being on your couch and doing nothing. But then when you finally get home and you do nothing on your couch for like three hours, and then you're like, okay, I gotta do something. I gotta get back on the road or whatever after a couple of days. Yeah. So it's, um, it's highly addictive, this it's, touring thing. You're never happy. What? It's like if people are never happy, no matter what we do, it's always like the grass is greener on the other side, kind of deal. For you too? Yeah, I guess. When I'm home, I'm, I feel the exact same way. When I'm on tour, I feel usually the exact same way. It's like, I want to go home. And then I'm like, oh, take me back on the road. <laughs> Let's make something happen. I guess. So what are your plans then now? Because, well, you're touring now in Europe. Is it, do you want to go to the States and break it? I want to go where I want MTV to come back and yeah. just do all the work for you. Please, yeah. MTV, skip uh, Sweet 16th pregnancy, <laughs> all the other R&B bullshit. Bring back some cool rock videos and uh, make me a billionaire. Amen. Because that's what you want to be. Yes, that's what. That's the whole point. That's of the, that's why we're all in the band. We just want to make money. We have no passion whatsoever for music. It's and it, all a big lie. You might think when you watch interviews that we're like having a lot of fun and people are like, yeah, it looks like you're having so much fun on stage. It's like we're not. It's all about the money. It's all, it's all about the money. Let's say if you finally are a b billionaire and, and you get to save one nation, what nation would it be? I wouldn't be more, more like a... Trinidad and Tobago. I wouldn't go... I would say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nation, man. I would destroy several nations just for fun if I would just had the money. What nation? A different one. In, uh, I would sink. Uh, no, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> you should not. Almost. <laughs> I would seriously. I would build myself like the biggest fucking space station ever and just move out into space and throw things down on Earth. <laughs> I, would, I, I would make a hole. I would dig a little trench in the, in the, the thing that protects uh, Holland from being flooded, just with a shovel. Okay. That's morbid. But then, then you don't need d that much money. True. Well, a good shovel is really expensive. <laughs> a really good shovel. Okay. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a weird well, ending. <laughs> finally, finally, tell me what Save the Nation is about. It's about saving the nation. It's about making money. It's about an inner salvation more than... Uh, saving a nation. About yeah. A national salvation. It's just a title. It's just three words behind <laughs> each other. Sounds good. It does. People. Put your own goddamn meaning on it. Thank you. Well,